Hey guys, welcome to another build video. Um, this is going to be my Sanctuary Player home for my new playthrough that I'm doing. Um, I am still trying to get all the achievements for Fallout 4, so I had to make a new playthrough. So, here it is. Um, I thought I'd re try to revamp the, uh, the Soul Survivor's home after the war, so I took a lot of time to like get all, all the built stuff put into place, like proper windows, doors, um, uh, fixing up the walls just to yeah and uh, here we go um, I'll try to be quiet during the tour I, I doubt I'll be quiet because um, I haven't been quiet yet but uh, here's the front door um, very homey feeling when you first walk in uh, open the door and it's just like living room I, I tried to keep it same setup as the original house and um, there's a little bit something special in the backyard as you can see there. Um, we'll check that out at the end. Um, you've got the kitchen, just everything's practically in the same spot and I wanted to use as many, much as the post-war stuff that I had from my mods as possible so that way it would feel real, I guess. And again, this is one of those challenges where I try to challenge myself to stay in the confines of the house and I think I did a spot on job um, just because I have a tendency if I try to build anything like with actual building parts I go too big or too small and that's always an issue with me and I like to challenge myself in this aspect where I try to build within what I'm given so or decorate with what I'm given I guess and yeah, so words, and so you yeah, had the kitchen, uh, just uh, ignore my voice if you really want a silent tour, because I know I'm going to talk through this all. So first we got the work, this is the, the armory, that's why there's a different door on it. I thought it would be more beneficial to have a metal door on our armory than a uh, wooden door. So just a couple mannequins, some uh, armor rack, or some weapon racks, and some lockers. Nothing special, just I haven't really played, to, I've literally, I haven't even made the Concord yet. I've literally just been decorating this place. And you got the bathroom, very nice bathroom. Um, everything in here was done with CW Redux, which is um, for immersion, uh, for immersive like toilets and showers and such. Um, since I have a mod that uh, makes my character get dirty, I actually require this. Uh, the C D C W Redux, just because I think it's more immersive that way. And then you got the laundry room right at the end, like the laundry right at the end, just out in the open. I don't know. I might put curtains up, but I think I would actually like how it's just open right there. Be like, hey, we got nothing to hide. We're doing laundry. And then this is the uh, Soul Survivors um, bedroom. Uh, I I thought it'd be cool to just put a poster up there with Gragnac the Barbarian just. My other art on the wall, Union Jack on on the wall because, heck yeah! It w if 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 it, if it wasn't for the brave souls in the UK that came uh, that found America, America wouldn't be America. Um, yeah, so I thought that'd be a cool thing to do. And then I just bed some uh, magazine racks and the bobblehead rack. Uh, nothing special that I guess it's usual stuff you'll find. And then just going to open the door and across the hall. I really wanted to emphasize that this is a, the Soul Survivor's house, and this is why I did the Sean's room. I think I could probably put some right in between those two shelves right there. I just noticed how bare that is. Jeez. Um, but other than that, I took took a lot of my mods and just found toys and stuff that I thought would. Like one of each toy, and I thought it'd be cool. And some cars, car malls up on the, uh, um, like intact car malls. Because uh, if you think about it, if the car malls had uh, some car mall boxes had survived and some paint survived, you could l literally make those models as like real car malls. Um, which, which that's what was going through my mind. Be like, all right, cool, he's got some car malls on the show. Now, the house is cool. This next part was why I built for... I, I didn't even decorate the house until this next part was done. Since I'm a dude, I have to have my man cave or 
Soul Survivor Cave. I don't know what you want to call it since I play a female character. It's mostly because I have there's reasonings behind me playing a female character. It's not just for the so I have some to look at while I play hours on end. It's other reasons, mental reasons. Um, but yeah, I have just a cluttered up, like in like very realistic or looking workshop garage with like lots of work. like all the workbenches are in there i've got the um my power armor in there i've got like loads of tools supplies and other junk and like the uh pizza the the table of elements on the wall above the chemistry station which i thought was a nice little touch i haven't got the um i just noticed i'm missing the nuka mi the nuka cola mixer thing eh, it's fine at least i got every other check on the box i actually have an idea of where i'm going to put it. Uh, that one bookshelf that was that's right at the door uh, where the swell tech boxes are i might put the nuka thing there and like how i actually had to have an actual working grad store with like the uh and i have a so so like 1950s american family just basketball hoop on, over the garage um some basketball sitting outside thought that was a really nice touch my part and then just dog meets uh house he's not here right he's not here right now um it's interesting i think he's over at that neighbor's house probably taking a pool up uh so here's the back patio i i actually was uh got the idea from somebody it's a Taffington Boathouse tour on Corliss's VII's Discord. Um, so I, I kind of stole the idea. I liked how they had the fire pits. Uh, actually, I think they stole the idea off of one or two people. I don't know. Either way, I stole the idea because I thought, hey, fire pits are cool. Why not have one in the back of my house? Um, just waiting because it... it the house is all lit up and like I love how the just the atmosphere of the uh the backyard um just the back patio I, I was going to originally put the uh, patio table in there and I'm just like ah it's too big I'll put a, I, I'll try a fire pit and I'm just like oh the fire pit looks gorgeous it's just like very nice mm. on point and then here is the little um part in the back that uh I built for the um for the uh for the stoners <laughs> you know i don't know like the chem addicts i don't know uh, it makes good money and uh just give me a second uh just gotta clear my sinuses my sinuses because uh i thought it was really, really funny oh oh wait one wrong drug wrong drug oh oh oops that's not cocaine that's that's cannabis. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, I, I, I thought about that while I was watching the uh, original. Like I watched it one. Usually watch the video once through to get an idea for the commentary, and then then I record the commentary. Uh, so this backyard, I wanted to keep it, keep the fences like all mismatched. So it's just like yeah, it'll work, and then just put some drunk fences where like there's holes and the fence is missing and I might put uh, seeing that how open my bedroom is I might put curtains up just to offset the open window a little bit I just noticed how, how open my room is be like hey I'm here uh, and that is my build my character is about to pull out her baton because I accidentally um, pressed all that's my fault. <laughs> Thought I was done the video here, and instead I did not finish the video here. So, uh, baton, <laughs> magical baton, and yep, uh, I'm just like, damn it! <laughs> I accidentally pressed that button, and just going back to the bench, I guess we started the video. Um, well, with that, I hope you guys enjoyed. I uh, really enjoyed building this. I was up to like 1.30 a.m. yesterday building it, or this morning building it. And I uh, hope you liked, uh, liked it. Subscribe for more, and peace out, peoples.